Hey guys, James here today, and this is just a quick tutorial on how to freely place uh, items on desks or counters, um, you know, so you can get them in any position. And what I mean by freely placed is, obviously when you have an item, uh, they, you can see it like snaps to certain places on top of the desk, but where I had it uh, a second ago was not actually anywhere that you could, you could place it normally. So uh, it's really helpful, especially when you're decorating places. So in this example, this is like a little uh, office slash study room, which you can download on the gallery by searching for hashtag the sim supply, in case you're wondering. Uh, so you can get that from there. But anyway, so yeah, so that's obviously placed off the, uh, off the, the sort of desk a little bit. And this one is also in an interesting place. And I think, uh, yeah, these are all in interesting places too. Anyway, let me put all those back. Right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is open up the cheat window with Control, Shift, and C and type in bb.moveobjects. Right, when that says move objects cheat is on, you're good to go. So, basically, the way this works is you get an item. So let, let's pick a new item. Let me just clone that and we'll pick something else. So let's go, let's go with the knives. So when you pick an item, you just put it on the desk like normal. Then, with the move objects cheat on, uh, when you move it off of the desk, you'll note that it actually stays at the same height. Uh, which is weird, because you'd think it would go to the floor, or you just would not be able to place it. But uh, thanks to move objects, it lets us put it anywhere, and it's floating. Now, if you hold down the Alt key on your keyboard, that's when you actually get all the smooth, free placement. Uh, so you can put it anywhere, rotate it absolutely anywhere, just like that. So now, you may be seeing where this is going. If you put it on the desk, you can put it anywhere. Now you gotta be you gotta be uh, careful not to place on the top of the desk, because obviously if I'm got my mouse over the top of the desk, it still will place into a slot. What you want to do, you want to have the mouse underneath the desk. So if we look at the grid, uh, you can see this desk is sitting on these two tiles here. You want to put the mouse underneath, because that means we're placing it at that point. So like for example, if I put it in the middle of that that square there, and we can look down, we can see it's actually in the middle of the square, but obviously from this angle it looks a little bit different. So yeah, we want to place it based on the grid on the ground. So if we wanted it, we can even put it between the two desks here, uh, like that. And then there you go. So that's in a position that you wouldn't normally be able to get. And of course, this is only something you really should do with decorative items, because if you did it with a computer, for example, uh, they would just not be able to use the computer essentially, because it has to be in a certain positions. In fact, it won't even let me, it won't even let me place it somewhere that a computer won't go. And this is with move objects on, which is actually interesting. Did not know that you couldn't do that. So there you go. Uh, you can't, you can't do it with computers. But you could do it with, uh, stereos, I think. I don't see why not. Let's find out. I haven't tried it with every single item in the game, but there you go. Yeah, you can try it with a stereo quite easily. And that would still work because Sims don't need to touch it. Uh, just... Like with the computer, for example, they actually need to sit down and use it. Whereas this is an item that they never touch. So you can put it anywhere. Now, the cool thing is, um... Yeah, you can actually just go like absolutely crazy with it. So if we got out, uh, for example, why don't we get some, uh, where, where are the piles of clothes? Where is that? This is also kind of like a semi, where is a pile of clothes? It must be miscellaneous. Semi move objects on tutorial. If you want to put a pile of clothes on the desk, you can move it up by pressing the nine key, the number nine on your keyboard. But this is just, yeah, this is just any kind of move object. If I press 9, you'll see my camera moves over here. If I press 8, I go over here. 7, I don't know where that's going. Anyway, moral of the story is the camera is going all over the place. And the reason for that is because numbers 5 to 0 on the top of your keyboard actually save camera position. So that's number 5. That's 6, 7, 8. Yours will be different, obviously, but um, that's where mine happened to be. So, to to combat that, because and because 9 is to raise an object, which is the most stupid key assignment when it's also a camera. Uh, camera button. Uh, it doesn't make any sense to me. At least, at the very least, when you're holding an item, I don't know why they don't just disable that functionality. It, like, really, it could be if move objects cheat is on, and you're holding an item, and you're pressing the 9 key, how about you don't move the camera? Anyway, that's completely irrelevant. Anyway, hold down the control key and 9, and then you can move it at the same time. Basically, all that's doing is resetting the camera position. Uh, so now if I press 9, you'll see the camera actually goes there, so there you go. Uh, but yeah, no, so you can place items absolutely anywhere on the desk. Now we've got a pile of clothes, we've got a stereo, we've got some knives just in case, because someone breaks in. Uh, but yeah, I thought that might be a handy little tip for you guys who want to decorate your homes. Of course you can do this, uh, with other items as well. And we can do it with, like, this. So if we got out, uh, this and put it on the counter like normal, then again, place it on the ground. Counters are a little bit more difficult, as you'll see. They tend to snap even if you go underneath. Uh, but you can do it, uh, the way, if you're having problems like this where I can't really get it on, what you want to do is actually fill up all the, uh, the items, uh, on, uh, all the spaces on the counter. Okay, well, product gameplay is locked. What, what does that even mean? Never seen that error in my life. Alright, well, you can do it. 
It's a moral of the story, and you know the, the basics of it. So there you go. I mean, go have fun with that. Make some crazy shelves and desks and all that. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time, and have an awesome day.